Criminal Code of Cambodia, 2009, Probationary Suspended Sentence. Chapter 3, Probationary Suspended Sentence, Article 117, Definition and Conditions for Probationary Suspended Sentence. The court may decide to impose a probationary suspended sentence for a prison term of a duration ranging from between six months and five years. The probationary suspended sentence has a power to place the convicted person to measures of control and respect of one or several specific obligations during the probationary period. Article 118, Probationary Period, the court sets the probationary period. The period can be neither less than one year nor more than three years. Article 119, Control Measures, the measures of control imposed upon the convicted person are the following. 1. The convicted person should respect the summons of the prosecutor or of any person assigned by him, her. 2. The convicted person welcomes the visits of any person assigned by the prosecutor. 3. The convicted person provides the prosecutor or any person assigned by him, her with all documents for verification of his, her social reintegration. 4. The convicted person keeps the prosecutor informed of the changing of his, her address. 5. The convicted person keeps the prosecutor informed of the changing of his, her occupation. 6. The convicted person shall receive authorization from the prosecutor prior to his, her traveling abroad. Article 120, Specific Obligation That May Be Imposed Upon the Convicted Person, Specific Obligations That May Be Imposed Upon the Convicted Person are the following. 1. Pursue a professional activity. 2. Accept a schooling or a professional training. 3. Reside in a designated area. 4. Submit him slash herself to medical checkup or medical treatment. 5. Prove that he, she has contributed to taking care of his, her family. 6. Indemnify in function of his, her resources the damage caused by the offense. 7. Justify that he, she has paid in function of his, her resources the amounts due to the state following his, her sentencing. 8. Not to pursue the professional or social activity which has permitted or facilitated the commission of the offense. In this case, the court must specify the prohibited activities. 9. Abstain from appearing in certain areas. In the case, the court must specify the prohibited areas. 10. Abstain from gambling. 11. Abstain from drinking alcohol. 12. Abstain from associating with certain persons, in particular, the perpetrator, co-perpetrators, the accomplices, or the victims of the offense. In this case, the court must specify the persons with whom association is prohibited. 13. Abstain from neither possessing nor carrying a weapon. In its decision, the court must indicate a specific obligations imposed upon the convicted person. Article 121, Modification of Specific Obligations by the Court The court can at all times modify the specific obligations imposed upon the convicted person. The court shall receive complaint according to the conditions set out by the Code of Criminal Procedure. Article 122, Revocation of Probationary Suspended Sentence The probationary suspended sentence may be revoked by the court in the following cases. 1. If, during the probationary period, the convicted person does not comply with the measures of control or the specific obligations. 2. If, during the probationary period, the convicted person is sentenced for a new felony or misdemeanor, the court may order a whole or a partial revocation of the probationary suspended sentence. In this regard, the penalty is carried out in whole or in part. The court shall receive complaint according to the conditions set out by the Code of Criminal Procedure. Article 123, Sentences Considered as Null and Void the sentence is considered as null and void if before the expiration of the probationary period there is no request for revocation for which a decision was made. Chapter 4, Suspension of the Pronouncement of Penalty, Article 124, Conditions for the Suspension of the Penalty Pronouncement, in the case of prosecution for a misdemeanor, the court may, after having declared that the accused is guilty, postpone the pronouncement of the penalty if the following conditions are fulfilled. 1. 
the disturb to the public order resulting from the offense has come to an end, too. The convicted is guaranteed for social reintegration, 3. The convicted requests the delay for indemnifying the damage. Article 125, Decision on Suspension, the suspension may be ordered only if the accused is present at the hearing. The court sets, in its judgment or its order, the date on which the penalty is adjudicated. The decision on the penalty must be made not later than one, one, year following the decision of suspension. Article 126, Hearing to Review the Stay of the Case, at the hearing to review the stay of the case, the court makes decision on a penalty. Chapter 6, Split of Penalty, Article 132, Conditions for the Split of Penalty, when the court pronounces a prison term less than or equal to one year. The court may decide, for a serious ground of family, medical, professional or social reason, that the penalty should be carried out by splits. Article 133, Modalities for Splitting Penalty, Each Split is Not Less Than One Month. The total duration of execution of the penalty, taking into account the interruptions, may not exceed two years. The court sets in its decision the modalities of the split. Article 134, Modification to the Splitting Regime, the court may at all times, at the request of the prosecutor, set the modalities of the split or remove the splitting regime. The court receives the complaint according to the conditions specified in the Code of Criminal Procedure. Article 135, Conditions for the Split of Penalty, the prosecutor may issue the order of arrest and detention of the convicted person who does not return to the prison at the expiration of the time period of the interruptions of the penalty.